Hello everyone, today we are going to perform the practical of Dr. Zahed with his protein docking. Alright, for this experiment or practical, first of all you need to go to Protein Data Bank in Europe. You can do that by just googling PDB and it will lead you directly to this page. Okay. Well, for this practical, we are going to do ligand binding of lipase. So just type in lipase, and when you will type lipase, a series of results will be displayed. Go ahead and take anyone out of this first one, and from this first one, just click on download PDB file. Okay, so a new tab will open up showing some text just press control plus a to select all then press control plus c okay so we have copied our text okay so the next thing is that we need to create a new file so go ahead right click anywhere on your desktop or wherever you want to make this new file okay so go ahead and select text document and in this text document you are going to name your file as lipase ok press enter and press control plus V and before you exit there is one thing that you need to do and that is that you need to remove these H2O molecules right so you need to remove these H2O right just go ahead and find this thing that says H O H this means we need to remove this line in order to do that go to the end of this line press shift and then up key so what happens is that when you press shift key you start selecting your text with the help of your arrow keys on the keyboard go ahead and do that and you need to remove these H2O molecules that are at the bottom of this you need to remove all the lines that contain H2O H2O okay so when these lines end for uh, in my case it has ended at 2216 okay so what I need to do is I just need to delete this from my uh, this text file in order to do that just press delete okay and then press control plus s to save it okay close it okay another thing sorry another thing that I forgot to mention is that you need to change the extension of this from text to PDB in order to do that press F2 and then change this txt to pdb ok go ahead okay. okay. So next thing is that you need to find the ligand, right? Okay, in order to do that, Google ligand book. Okay, so here is ligand book. Go ahead and open it. Okay, so it has opened finally. So you need to find ethyl acetate, search it, ok so this will show you this molecule right, ethyl acetate, either you can uh, use this package id which is not recommended because most often it returns with error on patch talk. So what you need to do is just click on show details. I found these details, scroll down 
and either click on this download zip or click on this download whatever you like okay so i will just click this one okay so this says that open with okay so you don't need to like, you don't need to save it because the pdb file is inside this zip so we need to extract that okay so go ahead and click on okay okay so this file is opened up okay so next thing that you need to do is we need to extract it if you are using the windows default zip uh, explorer or you are using winr or whatever archive program you are using just extract it to a folder known folder for example in my case i am extracting this to desktop all right so if i will extract it to desktop i will get this folder from this folder you need this file dot eee.pdb go ahead press control plus x or c whatever you like and then just press control plus v okay so you don't need to do anything with this ee file just remember that this lipase is your protein file and this eee is your ligand file you can rename it if you want to ligand for your own safety okay next thing that you need to do is you need to go to pass talk in order to do that just google pass talk because if you will what i recommend is for first timers google.com and from google.com forgive me because i think i have got my torrent so i can go yeah my torrent set up okay from here just go ahead and press well type in patch doc okay so the first one that it will show will be by info 3g.cs dot or something 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 okay so yes go ahead i have got this patch doc over here okay so the first thing is that i need to upload my receptor molecule the receptor molecule is of course my lipase okay so here is my lipase okay open and then i need to insert my ligand file which is i have labeled it as ligand just open and then around here you need to give the email i address that you need this result to be forwarded to okay an important thing that you need to remember here is that this pastog mostly the email that you receive from pastog is in your spam folder so if it happens to you first time which actually happened to me so you need to check your spam folder if you do not get a mail within let's say 5 minutes but mostly it takes just 2 to 3 minutes so we'll just wait check my spam folder okay so my spam folder is empty actually right now okay so i have got this okay so here is my pp doc and they sent me this right okay so click on the link that is provided in this email okay okay so the, here are a series of uh matches that this algorithm run uh to verify the best fit of this ligand and the protein that we gave it okay so we need the first result which has the highest score you can see the score around here 2220 okay so it will ask you to save file okay so it's save file save this file to it will come with the name solution so sorry okay save file okay so this file solution.pdb all right so the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to pdb sum in order to do that once again the simplest formula google it 
CPDB sum. Okay, so you get CPDB sum. Okay, so if you have googled it, you can actually go right down to the page that we want, and here you can say PDB sum generate. Just click on this PDB sum generate. okay so if you opened it like if you had opened it before something and this page opens up you need to go into this left column and find generate from here and click on this generate okay so you will see this page pdb sum generate okay and on this pdb sum generate click on this browse and click the file solution and then here provide your email address once again and just press on upload okay so this result mostly takes around 5 to 10 minutes and when the result of this email comes okay so the result will also be emailed to you okay so this email will come from this guy roman laskowski okay so i received this a bit ago Okay, so there are two methods of getting to your results page. First is that you open this first link, this one, and then you enter the PDB code and the password. Or the second one is you can directly go to the page of your results by just clicking the second link that is provided. So right-click it and press Open New Tab. Let's see. Okay, so I did not receive the second email. Okay, so here are the results that we have been looking for. So this is the result that we had been looking looking for. The square download this image and put it in your notebook, and yeah. this is the reaction that is performed by the enzyme and the motif that is used and if you click on this one it will show you the residue and the chain along with the motif sheets and everything and you can download it in the pdf version whatever you like or okay so yeah protein and yes you can view it in pdf you can view it in hira diagram or you can view it in postscript whatever thing you like and if you click on these clefts it will show you the motifs that are actually involved in binding and the reaction you can see here binding sites binding surfaces if you will click on this binding surfaces uh press on j mol or s mol whatever you like okay so my javascript is saying that i will say that i want to continue to this page Okay, so if I continue to this page, I should see uh, JavaScript around here. Yeah, Java is working. <coughs> okay, so let's ignore the security phone for a uh, while. Okay, so. Let's just ignore it. Well, I don't know if it is going to load it now or not because I recently updated my Java, and my Java is saying that there is some security concern with this page, and I'm unable to see the results. But I don't know if you have got Java or not. But if you have got Java and you have got an older version, you should see a three-dimensional. Uh, molecule over here, where this black screen is now, and it's not just a molecule; it is actually a JavaScript, which is in the form of 
three D structure. So you can look around, see uh, uh, by spinning it, moving it upside down, whatever way you like. You can see the cleft, you can see the binding surfaces, and it, a color denotation is given at the side of this JavaScript to help you understand uh, what different colors mean. Like where is the binding cleft, where is the reaction cleft, and things like that. So that was it for this moment okay and what you need to get is you need to sorry where did that go okay I s left it there okay so you need to get that picture that picture that was showing just a second yeah you need to get this picture you need to download and save this picture for your practical notebooks okay so that's it that's it for now take care